This is the Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. It is Monday, April 15th. Tax day. Oh, should I not remind people of that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? Tax day? What? Oh, man. And now everyone in our studio leaves and I was goes and finishes their taxes. I was dashing out to finish their taxes. Uh-huh. Hey, we actually, uh, not we, I should not take any credit for this. My husband did them yesterday, which is great. <laughs> As opposed to As today. As opposed to today. <laughs> they are done. I appreciate that. Thanks, husband. Happy Holy Week. Oh, yeah, it is Holy Week. Can I week. say Happy Holy Week? Uh, blessed Holy Week, maybe? Is that I, more appropriate? I do say that in the announcement. I mean, it, it will be happy it, in, in less than a week. It I could don't be know. happy. It is happy. Well, yeah, I mean, some of the best services of the year are this week. Like, Good vigil. Good stuff <laughs> on on deck for this week for Holy Week. Some uh, some great guests, great topics. We always have great guests, great topics. And then we Friday, uh, we have uh, special programming for Good Friday, including the Treore service in the yes. afternoon here at KFU. Always a, a, a pleasure and a, a privilege to get mm-hmm. to share that with our listeners. Because it's Treore service is probably not a, a very common service around the country. So each year we have listeners who share with us how much they appreciate the opportunity to listen to the, the three-hour service um, mm-hmm. from noon to three here on KFUO. This week, uh, Holy Week, today, great topics. We're going to take a look at some of the pre-gathering materials for the LCMS National Youth Gathering. Mm-hmm. And um, we're also going to talk with hymn writers, both from um, from the, um, the the lyric side as well as the composer side. Mm-hmm. So and the collaboration. And, and, and collaboration, because mm-hmm. Lutherans can collaborate. I promise we, we can. We can get along. We can. <laughs> Thanks to Concordia University, Wisconsin, for supporting the Coffee Hour. Find out more about Concordia University, Wisconsin at cuw.edu. In studio this morning, the Reverend Derek Broughton, Program Director for LCMS National Youth Gathering. Good morning, Derek. Good morning. Always a joy to have you in studio talking about the National Youth Gathering. It's great to be here. Yeah, are you all minnesota Minnesota-fied. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, pretty close. <laughs> you don't have, like... You, you He's got the flannel on I, today. Yeah, very much. Yeah. yeah. You need... It is flannel-appropriate weather plaid, today. plaid, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, but it wasn't, like, a good Minnesotan, you know, greeting this morning. Is you, you got to have, a, like, a good Minnesota accent, too, because we're getting ready for our trip back... To, well, for you, back to Minnesota, right? Yeah, don't you know? There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> the Reverend, the Reverend it's more Martin. Canada, but close enough. I don't know. It's south of Manitoba, <laughs> eastern North Dakota, maybe Duluth a little. There you go. <laughs> the Reverend Mark Kiesling, Director, LCMS Youth Ministry, LCMS Office of National Mission. Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, always a joy to have you both in studio and talking about the National Youth Gathering. Um, how many? Can I ask how many days? Uh, we are under 90. Yes. Wow. Really? Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's close. That feels way said. too close. I know. I know. Yes, it does. It's exciting. <laughs> Wait. Wow. We're under 90 days. I think yeah. we need to Less buy our three months. tickets. <laughs> <laughs> what month is it? I don't know. Uh-huh. Oops. It's like that late Easter kind of... Uh, it feels like January, yeah, right. so I'm and not that sure. Too. That too. <laughs> that just caused a brief moment of panic. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Welcome to our lives. <laughs> So what's on deck in preparation for the LCMS National Youth Gathering? Um, where are we? And, and especially congregations, what should we be doing to prepare for uh, our trip to Minnesota? Yeah, you know, this it's such an exciting time for congregations right now as they're kind of wrapping up their years. So you think about what a great week this is with Holy Week and then um, kind of the end of the school year and then kind of ramping up into the National Youth Gathering. So What's so exciting about this time, I think for a lot of groups, is they're putting all their final details, doing those last fundraisers, getting all that stuff together, and um, and just kind of the details. They just got their hotel assignments, so there's a lot of excitements about where they're going to be and looking that up and trying to figure out some of those details. Uh, yeah, so just a lot of detail kind of moments. Yeah, figuring out where all the coffee places are. Exactly. Although, you guys made a map for that, didn't you? Yeah, you really don't have to figure out coffee places there. <laughs> They're on every block. Yes. Are they all different? <laughs> and you, like, check off boxes? Um, I hope so. Yeah, there, there's <laughs> definitely variety up there, so you shouldn't have a problem with that. That's exciting. Yes. But heavy caribou, too. Oh, hey, right. I right. missed that one. Mm-hmm. It's been yeah. a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, it, all the details are coming together. A lot of that that final, uh, the really exciting preparation stuff where it feels feels really close. Uh, what, what are some of the things that, that youth and families uh, are doing or, sh- or should be doing if they're not yet? <laughs> 
Uh, apart from the details, obviously we've got our adults working on a lot of that, but then too are these great times where we've got pre-gathering Bible studies and other things mm-hmm. and just getting to get the group together, getting them connected, getting them to get to know one another, especially maybe if they're in a group that doesn't normally do that on mm-hmm. a regular basis. Uh, so getting to be in God's Word together, being worshipped together, getting to really connect about what the five days of the gathering look like. Um, so that they get the most out of that time, but then also really trying to help groups too to think about what's the what happens after that too. So uh, to kind of create momentum amongst those young people and in their congregation in terms of how do they take it home um, as well. So trying to help groups. I mean, they're obviously inundated with details right now, um, <laughs> but trying to give them a little bit of piece of that too to be thinking about beyond the five days, but then also making the most of the five days too. That it's not just about schedules, but how are they going to get together? How are they going to be in the Word? How are they going to connect with youth from all across the world? Um, and really make the most of that time too. The word uh, that that's what this this gathering really focuses on, and is it, that we gather around the word. What is the? Uh, tell us more about the theme and the the pre gathering Bible study. Yeah, the theme this year is real present God, and we're really excited about that from um, the the standpoint that we're getting into the Book of Psalms. And one of the things that we've kind of encouraged our planners, we've encouraged our adult leaders and congregations to really dive into the Psalms and to slowly read through it. And one of the things that we love about the Psalms is it really gives us permission just to be honest about uh, who we are, uh, what we come with, and um, and the, they're, they're just filled with thanksgiving and lamenting and the fullness of the questions that people have. And so we're really excited about what that means for uh, teenagers who are coming to the gathering who have a lot of those kind of things and don't always feel like they can be fully who they are uh, before our real present God. So um, we think the theme is just going to be on point. And so we just continue to encourage people to, to dive into the Psalms and to read them and then let them wash over you. Uh, and I like the, uh, the design, the art this year too, mm-hmm. real, period, present, period. God, period. I, yeah. Splits it up nicely. Nice job, too. It's <laughs> a lot of deep, yeah. deep stuff yeah. in there, too. A lot smarter people than what's in this room. <laughs> yes. Between me and Derek that came up with that. Yeah, so true. So true. <laughs> so how, how will this theme um, play out throughout the days of, of, the, of the gathering? Where, where are we going to really dig into it and, and maybe experience it in different ways? Yeah, so the thing about the theme is it's there in many ways it can get very specific and it can be very broad. And so we're we'll start each day in morning sessions that's uh, our Bible study that's going to dive into Psalm 46, uh which we'll talk about themes of God as refuge and strength and ever present help in time of trouble. Uh and then talking about even the beauty of 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 Psalm 46:10, be still and know that I am God. And then throughout the day there'll be different uh, sessions and interactive uh, moments uh, on the interactive floor along with service and all those components are discussing the different parts of real present God throughout the whole thing and then we'll always end uh, the evening at uh, U.S. Bank Stadium which is a beautiful stadium that they'll come together and talk about uh, each of those themes they'll kind of break it down every night. In addition to preparing in the Word of God, uh, we need to prepare our bodies physically. Yes. Because <laughs> uh, you mentioned gathering at the stadium. Um, so we've got a, a little bit of walking to do at that, mm-hmm. at the, the gathering, right? That's correct. So it's been fun watching even some adult leaders challenge one another, encourage one another on our, we have a Facebook group. Uh, they they got walking plans, so they're starting to kind of build up to that as uh, finally places around the country have started to thaw out in some cases. <laughs> maybe. Um, so they can go, maybe. Unlike this, can, yeah, this weekend, right. I don't know. If exactly. that. I got one little quick run in this weekend a little bit to try to do that. So step counts are getting a little bit higher, and so that, that way too, that, I mean, like you said, physically, mentally, they can be more engaged and feel better about their time there. So it, it's usually we prepare people to probably be walking five to seven Seven miles a day generally is kind of what we encourage that for people to kind of be in that kind of shape to be ready for that. We certainly have assistance for those who need it. Uh, but yet, nonetheless, that's kind of what we try to engage people to be prepared for that. Um, just between going between the facilities and then they don't necessarily think about it, but just walking amongst these huge facilities mm-hmm. is a mm-hmm. lot of mileage uh, just to go from seats to um, get between sessions, whatever it might be. So just so that they feel good at the end of the day. They probably will have no problem sleeping at night. I don't think they'll be exhausted, but a matter of being able to get up refreshed and be able to lead their groups or be able to uh, connect with the program that's going on. Mm-hmm. I just got back from uh, a, a big event, National Association of Broadcasters, yeah. and I was so disappointed because I missed the the race. They actually have a 4K instead nice. of a 5K because 
uh, we couldn't make it all the way to 5K. So, <laughs> and I missed it. And I was so disappointed. I was talking to one of the information tables, you know, so sad that I missed it. And they're like, oh, don't worry, honey. You, you're going to get in all your steps. <laughs> that's right, and that's, that's, right. that's kind of the case at the gathering, too. We're going to spend so much time um, just in the convention center and then and walking to the uh, to the U.S. Bank Center as well. Uh, you're going to have plenty of steps, which also provides plenty of opportunity for fellowship when yes. you walk in the long mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. And if they're worried that they're not going to have enough steps, we do have a 5K. <laughs> <laughs> so they can sign up for that. That that sign up information is coming soon. So excellent. So if you are a runner and you want to yes. get in your five k, you could do that as well. Lots of opportunities for service at the gathering as well. Um, anything that that we need to be thinking about in terms of preparing for servant events at the gathering? Well, there there's certainly a couple different opportunities that they'll have. There's some groups that will be assigned to offsite servant events, mm-hmm. and they're going to be uh, contacted directly with that. They've already uh, pre-registered for some of that stuff. That information is going to come out in um, May and June. And then there's also some on-site service in the convention center and downtown, and that information is going to come directly to congregations as well. So they'll be May, June, they'll be getting more information on that. Excellent. So be on the lookout for more communications coming to your congregation if you're registered for the National Youth Gathering. Correct. And if you're not registered for the National Youth Gathering, just start planning for three years from now. Is that right? Uh, or or sign up today. We still got time. We still end have end of April. Mm-hmm. Oh. Use your yeah. tax return. Hey, That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, where's the place to, how do we follow along what's going on with the National Youth Gathering? What's the, the place to do that? Uh, one thing for our website certainly is where there's kind of the whole cache of information. That's lcmsgathering.com. Um, so that's a great spot as well as social media. Let's see, uh, Twitter, Facebook. There's a Facebook group for adult leaders. There's one just kind of to get general information. Uh, Snapchat. Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, all the, the main ones there that uh, we really try to connect with our audience through social media. It's been a great blessing for us to be able to do that. And then... Um, uh, again, we have district coordinators in each district, too, in terms of they're looking for things that connect to, and that's on the website, that if there's some more local things, they want to connect with some special events and things, too. So great information as available from our local contacts with our districts. Excellent. Yeah, and, and you know, the other thing that we do is we do monthly webinars, which are really mm-hmm. key things uh, that uh, kind of update the most current stuff that, uh, that are involved in the planning process. So every month we do those. Excellent. So, And you can find those at the information on that on social uh, media and the good, website. Yep, yep. Yep. Very good. The Reverend Derek Broughton, Program Director, LCMS National Youth Gathering. Thank you so much, Derek, for being here this morning and sharing with us about the National Youth Gathering. Thank you. The Reverend Mark Kiesling, Director, LCMS Youth Ministry, LCMS Office of National Mission. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you. Happy Holy Week. Happy Holy Week. <laughs> Happy Holy Week. Coming up in just a little bit, we're going to talk with some hymn writers, get the inside scoop on what it's like to write a hymn and to collaborate together in writing a hymn. You're listening to The Coffee Hour. I'm Andy Bates. I'm Sarah Golseth. Yeah.